Good morning, everyone, and happy Easter. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. I'm so excited that you're here to share in our crucifixion and resurrection story today for Easter Sunday. As a reminder, this is a very special story, and I want to make sure that you, my friends, have time to wonder. So parents and guardians, just wonder right along with your friends today. We don't have all of the answers to this amazing and miraculous story, and that's okay. I can't wait to see what you do for Easter, and if you want more activities, join us on the Children and Family Ministry page this Easter Sunday. Have a great week. Again, hallelujah, Christ is risen, Christ is risen indeed. Goodbye. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chessie Breton, and I'm the Director of Children and Family Ministries at Manchester United Methodist Church. I'm so excited that you're here, and I get to share a very special story with you today. I get to share the story of the crucifixion and the resurrection because it's Easter. All of the words to today's story are inside of me. Will you make silence with me so I can find the words to today's story? Friends, we have spent one, two, three, four, five, six, six weeks. I'm going to move them over a little bit. Waiting and preparing and hearing our Lent stories. During our first week, we heard about Jesus teaching the disciples and us about prayer, a very special prayer, the Lord's Prayer. The second week, we heard about Jesus's entry into Jerusalem with the people waving palms and putting their jackets and robes on the ground as he came in riding a colt. Our third week, we heard the story of Jesus and Zacchaeus and that no matter what, God loves us even when we don't always make the best choices. Our fourth week of Lent, we learned as Jesus cast out the money changers from the temple. Oh, ours. on this special fifth week of Lent, we heard the story of Jesus sharing in his last meal with his friends. We call that the Last Supper. Last week, our sixth week of Lent, we heard about Peter denying Jesus three times. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have waited. We have waited for today. Because today, my friends, is Easter. On this card, you will see a tomb. A tomb is where people are buried when they die. But this tomb is empty. Help me prepare our hearts as we get ready to hear our story for today. Jesus. 
Jesus had been arrested. The people wanted him crucified. Even when Pilate said, I do not find this man guilty of any of the charges you've said, the people still wanted him dead. So Jesus was given a cross to carry up the hill to a place called Golgotha. There, they nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the cross. On his head was a crown of thorns the soldiers had made to make fun of this king of the Jews. It hurt Jesus very much to die like that, hanging on a cross. Finally, Jesus cried out, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Then Jesus died. His friends were very sad. They went to get Jesus' body to bury it. A man named Joseph. of Arimathea gave them a new tomb to put Jesus's body in. The women worked putting oil and spices on Jesus's body until it was the beginning of the Sabbath. They couldn't do even that work on the Sabbath. Jesus' body was put in the tomb and a huge stone was rolled over the front of it. That was on Friday. It was a very dark day for the people of God, a day with almost no light in it. Sunday morning, very early, the three women came back. They came back to the tomb to finish making Jesus' body ready. One of the women was Mary Magdalene. The women wondered how they would move the heavy stone from in front of the tomb. But when they got to the garden, the stone was rolled away. They looked inside the tomb and saw an angel in shining clothes. The women were afraid, but the angel said, don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, as he said. Then the women ran to tell the disciples the good news. Peter and the other disciple ran to see the empty tomb. After they saw the empty tomb, they, they believed and then went back to their homes.
but Mary stood outside the tomb crying. A man came up behind her. She saw him and thought he was the gardener. The man said, why are you crying? Mary said, because they have taken my Lord. Tell me where to find him. Then the man said, Mary. And Mary knew at once that the man was Jesus. She said, Rabboni, which means teacher. Then Jesus told her to go and tell the disciples what she had seen. And Mary left to share the wonderful news again with the disciples. Friends, I wonder, I wonder how many people it would take to move the stone away from the grave. I wonder if the angel in the tomb was smiling. And I wonder if Jesus looked any different when my Mary finally knew who he was. I also have some wondering questions for my older friends. Imagine you are Pilate. You allowed Jesus to be killed. Now you hear that he has supposedly risen from the dead. What are you feeling? Are you afraid, curious, amazed? When Jesus appeared to Mary, she thought he was the gardener, a very simple and well-known person in each garden in Jesus' day. Who are the everyday people who have helped you know God's love? Before Jesus died, the disciples thought he was going to be the great soldier who would overcome the Romans. When they found out he was alive again, do you think they still believed the same thing? Why or why not? Friends, watch carefully as I put this very special story away. My hope is, is that when we come back to church, you can share this story of the crucifixion and the resurrection with your friends, with your family, and all of our church family together. We waited. We waited six weeks during Lent. What friends did we wait for? We waited for Christ to rise. So my friends, happy Easter. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. We hope you'll join us on the Children and Family Ministry Facebook page for this special Sunday, this holy Sunday, as we celebrate Easter with other activities and coloring pages for you to do. Have a great day together and remember that Jesus loves each and every one of us. Goodbye.